Hey Pisces, this is Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for you guys for this week in May. Keep in mind, these are just general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Pisces out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. You guys can also uh, contact me for personal readings. That's in the description box below for you down there. Um, energy can be reversed in these readings. Time is fluid, so this can happen whenever. All right, let's see what's going on with Pisces for this week in love. What's going on with Pisces for this week in love? All right, so we have walking away. What else for Pisces for this week in love? All right, so we have woman holding a coin. The cards are just flying out my hands for your guys' reading. And we have temple path. One more, please, for Pisces. All right. All right, so we have Magician in the Mirror here. All right, so we have something that you manifested here, Pisces. If you are a uh, female watching this, I feel like you're definitely walking away by yourself to something that you manifested. I feel like you're very calm. You're very collected while you're doing this too, Pisces. And you're just like, eh, I don't care because I have a lot of money here. A woman holding a coin, I have a lot of stability. I'm uh, protected by spirit, a temple path here. And I'm, a, and I'm a magician here. The magician in the mirror. There could be some magic being involved here. There could also be some sort of magic being done um, with a mother energy. We'll see what that's about here. Because with the magician in the mirror, that does give me um, the vibe of black magic or something like that. You know, um, But it could also mean that you're manifesting all these great things in your life. Right? So let's see. Why is walking away here for Pisces? Walking away for Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus signs. Ooh, we have separation and longing. All right, so you're walking away from someone and they're getting their karmic justice. You're getting your karmic justice, which is good, and they're getting theirs. And that's being separated from you. I'm, I'm feeling like this has a lot to do with your energy here since it's longing. Someone's longing for you right now. We have transcendence and unity here. I feel like you're really, um, I'm hearing the word integration. You're integrating your shadow and light side here. Learning a lot about yourself here, Pisces. Becoming very spiritual, right? You're, I mean, you guys are pretty spiritual already, but I feel like you're trying to ground yourself. You're trying to balance your spirituality with practicality here, okay? Clarify a woman holding a coin for Pisces. Someone holding a coin for Pisces. Someone rising in Venus signs. All right. Pluto, transformation. Hmm. I just heard something about moving. Yeah, distance, retreat, or time out. Wow. So you could be distancing yourself. Let's clarify Pluto, transformation, please, for Pisces. You're distancing yourself from someone, Pisces. And it's making someone long for you. Yeah, we have the higher self activation. And we have this third party here with a family home. Oh, I feel like Pisces, you realize something about someone in a family or something like that. And that's what's triggering. It's activating your higher self. And you're just like, you know, I don't need that. I don't need someone that's in a relationship already. I don't need someone in the commitment already. And I feel like that's what's happening. And you're just transforming your whole outlook on life. Clarify the temple path for Pisces. Temple path for Pisces. Okay, so we have decisions here with healing inner child. Someone is doing, okay. You're doing this on your own free will here. Decision and healing. You're making your own decision to heal your inner, inner child wounds here. That's a good... Or this could be your person doing this. Someone also needs to heal um, the way that they make decisions. Is also what I'm hearing. Yeah, seed spring. It's like a it's like a small start for some of you, but it's like something that's going to definitely come out great for you. Tell me more about the inner child healing for Pisces. Why is this here for Pisces? about this okay control tactics all right yep change encourage having the courage to change people and things around you 
that seem to maybe have you, you know, underneath your their thumb or something like that. You're like, I'm not dealing with that anymore. Especially if I'm not getting anything out of it, right? Someone really um, was trying to control you here. Yeah, a lot of self-love here. Yeah, okay. It could have been multiple people too. All right, clarify the magician in the mirror for Pisces. There's a magician in the mirror here for Pisces. All right, so we have offer. It could be manifesting an offer. Temptation, deception here. All right, tell me more about this offer for Pisces. Tell me more about this Pis offer for Pisces. Okay, so Ace of Water, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me more. Someone does have feelings for you, and they're trying to manifest you in. Okay. Yeah, okay. Closed off, guarded, resistance. And then we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. So we have water and fire. I feel like someone here is blocked from making an offer to you. Yeah, someone is blocked. Yeah, someone is separated from you. Um, you feel like this person is pretty controlling or if it's not that, you feel like, you know, maybe this person triggers something in you to control something about yourself, right? Really, really subtle with the control tactics here. I feel like this person comes in, you know, pretty wishy-washy. They come in lovey-dovey, right? But I feel like this person here is like... I don't know. I just feel like they're being very um, subtle with their offer. Someone is longing for you, though. Let's talk about it. Um, let's see. What's going on with Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Pisces. In love. What's going on with Pisces? For a love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so we have the Empress here, nice. The Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, okay. Eight of Wands, the Sun, Leo energy. And then we have that Five of Swords, wow. Okay, so someone here is like really stressed over the fact that you're really happy. You're holding back your energy. They wanna come together with you, commune with you, I just heard. Yeah, I feel like it's because you may have an abundance here of some sort. You're being cold to them and you're just like not you're making a judgment call to leave this person alone here but this person has intentions on coming back together with you but i don't think you're playing any games here um pisces like you mean what you say you say what you mean this person is jealous of you too is also what i heard clarify the empress please why is the empress here for pisces seven of pentacles there's that sun again and then we have the six of cups Oh, they have good memories now. They have good memories about you right now, um, Pisces. The Sun card with the Six of Cups. Yeah, they have a nostalgia. They're remembering the fact that you make them happy. Um, they're remembering the fact that you have um, abundance here. I'm also... Oh, okay. I'm also hearing, look how you've grown. Someone is looking at how you've grown here, Pisces. Okay. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Pisces, the Four of Wands, the Magician, and the Nine of Pentacles. You are such a great manifester here, Pisces. Um, you're making this judgment call to end something here, either with a water sign or a fire sign. But I feel like someone is taking action towards you, or you may have other people taking action towards you. You're manifesting this in. I'm seeing marriage here with the Four of Wands and the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. You're keeping this to yourself. You could be keeping your home life to yourself, your manifestations to yourself, Pisces. You come off as someone that's like, you You do things a lot on your own. It's like you're a one-woman band or a one-man band here, uh, Pisces. So that's the energy that I'm getting off. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Tell me about the Nine of Swords, please, for Pisces. Nine of Swords for Pisces. Five of Cups. Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Wow. Six of Wands. You could have a platform or you'll be very famous in some way, shape, or form. Um, 
Five of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Someone has lost this opportunity. They feel like they lost this, this love. They feel like they lost this opportunity to work with you, to come together with you, to collaborate. They're realizing, hey, you are this person that, you know, that maybe they can work with here. And you're getting a lot of attention, but you're ghosting them at the same time and you're blocking them. And that's burdening them. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please. We have some communication coming for you. Eight of Wands, please, for Pisces. We have Temperance here. Yeah, look, man. Someone's going to come back and apologize here, Pisces. I see good energy. I'm not seeing anything bad. Oh, okay, so we have the Five of Swords here. This person is kind of jealous, though. There is a Five of Swords here. I feel like they're trying to do whatever it takes to come back and try to get a second chance. Can I get a second chance? Can we heal this? Something like that. That's what the communication is going to be about, at least. <sighs> I feel like this person wants to turn the karmic wheel back over again because they're burdened. They could be like waiting for you to communicate with them or something like that. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here for Pisces? Why is the sun here for Pisces? There's the hermit with the six of wands and the eight of wands. It's like you go to them. It's like... Okay, Knight of Wands. It's like you, this person wanted to communicate and you just like didn't pay any attention to them. They feel ashamed. They feel outcasted because of that here. You're getting a lot of victory and success. You're getting a lot of happy things just shooting into your life, Pisces. Whether you see it or not. I feel like for a lot of you, maybe you don't see it because you're too busy like learning something or you're too busy like... I don't know. It's like it's like you've grown and someone can see it on the outside. I don't know if you can see it, but they can. Okay? They're noticing it. Tell me about the Five of Swords, please, for Pisces. Five of Swords for Pisces. Someone rising in Venus signs. Ten of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Okay. Four of Pentacles. All right. So someone tried to come together with you or communicate, right? Or try to get your attention in some way, shape, or form. It did not work. This did not work. You laid it to rest. You laid it to rest. They feel like it's, um, they feel defeated. They feel defeated in the situation here, Pisces. I don't know who I'm reading for, but tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell me more about the Four of Swords for Pisces. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, you're walking away, see? I'm not dealing with this person. Four of Pentacles and you're going to hold your energy back. Focus on your finances. Gaining a lot of a, a strength of doing something on your own too, Pisces. Like I'm, I'm getting that you're getting a lot of strength doing something on your own. Let's get three cards for Pisces. Let me get three cards for Pisces, please, Spirit. Oh. All right. So addiction just came out. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a blocked restraint. So, I think that's why you ghosted this person. You know that this person is codependent. They don't, this is the type of person that only come after you when you're happy. And that's what I'm getting. Yeah, coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So, that's good vibes. It's like they're addicted to, like, being in your energy is what I'm getting here. So, this person doesn't even, like... I don't think this person is after your money. I just feel like this person is seeing that you have a lot of abundance, Pisces, and they want to come together and be in your energy. Yeah. Okay, so we have the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. This person could have been like a one-sided, you know, person. And then we have passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. You guys have like a great connection when you guys do come together. But I feel like you put a rest to this here. And I think it was because it's some sort of codependent energy like that you don't want to deal with. Which is flipped over. Let me get one more card, please, for Pisces. They, yeah, they have some sort of narcissist energy about them. One more, please, for Pisces. This person is obsessed with you, kind of. Okay, so we have healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, 
freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. That's why I feel like you're so happy. You're finally getting away from this person or you're finally being happy being alone. You're, you're enjoying being alone here, uh, Pisces. Let me get some... How much time I got? Oh, 15 minutes. All right, let me get some um, Psychic Tarot to close out the reading. But this is a really uh, good reading for you guys so far. I feel like you guys are doing the right thing. We have Harmony here. Yeah, with Temptation. You're going to be tempted to go back to this person, Pisces. I really feel that way, or this person's going to try. But then we have New Beginnings here, so I feel like you're going to... Someone doesn't want you to move on to New Beginnings. They're going to try to tempt you. They're going to try to tempt you here. All right. So, yeah, truth. Okay. You got some truth about a situation, suffering in silence and solitude. Yeah. This is you in solitude here, Pisces. Okay. You're enjoying your alone time, reading a book, maybe stargazing, something like that. This is their silence. It's like they're waiting for you or something. They're waiting for you to say something. Two nines. Two nines represents independence. So you're alone and they're alone. You're alone dealing with something in a good way. They're alone dealing with something in a bad way. Okay? I'm not saying that you're necessarily a loner, but you're really starting to um, get comfortable with being alone. I keep getting that for you guys. Yeah, look. Sacrifice. Twelve. Breaks down to three. Manifestation. We have fertility here. Also a three. It's like you're too busy manifesting here and you're letting things go. Firm foundation. It's like you're grounding yourself. You're becoming more secure about yourself, Pisces. All right, guys. That was your reading. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.